guys i'm so excited for today's video i haven't filmed a reading vlog in so long so i'm really excited to be working on this one and this is like a long-term one like today or hopefully anyway today is tuesday may 16th and today i'm starting to how do i explain this i'm going to be reading until i find a five star read that could be the first book i read that could be 10 books from now we don't know we'll find out i've seen like a ton of people doing this and so i wanted to do it plus i'm trying to catch up on my reading goal because you know spring semester really did me dirty the book i'm currently reading is every last word by tamara ireland stone i'm on page 68 i just started it yesterday how many pages are in this book? Book. 355 so you know in a perfect world i could finish this whole book today it is 12 o'clock p.m and i have nothing else to do today besides read so you know hypothetically i could finish this i have heard so much hype around this book i have a feeling it could be five stars but i don't know yet we'll see i also just recently read and then there were none by agatha christie for some reason i cannot get that book out of my head all i want to be doing is reading another book by her so i feel like for that reason this could not be a five star read because i'm in the mood for like mystery thriller type vibes and this is i think a romance or like coming of age or something i literally have no idea i didn't even read the back all i knew is that people were telling me i should read it so then i was like okay i have it i'll just read it and honestly it's way better to go in blind like i have so many books in my physical tbr i feel like i'm ranting and like going off on a million tangents right now but i have so many books in my physical tbr so like i don't need to remember what they're about or do research before i just take it off my bookshelf and start reading it so that's what i do with this book but yeah i'm gonna stop talking now because i've been talking for too long let's get into this book and see if it's a five star read a hundred page update i'm actually on page 154 i'm getting a little nervous because this book is going very good <laughs> so i'm like what if the first book in this video is five stars gonna be a short video that's for sure i am really liking it so far it's not a romance so far it's about this girl samantha she struggles with ocd and anxiety her closest best friends don't know this about her like she hasn't told anyone besides her family until she meets this girl caroline and they start to become friends and they kind of bond over this mental disorder that caroline i mean that samantha is struggling with so they kind of both bond over that caroline shows samantha this thing called poet's corner basically they just write poetry it's really good so far the chapters are really short which i'm really liking because i'm just like devouring them i absolutely hate samantha's friends like the popular girls like if you've read this book and you know the crazy eights they're a bunch of bitches she needs to drop them she needs to get out of their asap i do like her new friends caroline and aj and like everyone in the poet's corner i'm also listening to a playlist that i found on spotify all of the songs are like sad so <sighs> I have a feeling this book is gonna get sad. We'll see. I am going to go outside, I think, and continue reading because it's a nice day out, so I just wanna spend some time outside. This video's ruined, I just know it. I'm literally devouring this. I got to page 270 and uh, I just, this book is gonna be five stars. What am I gonna do after that? Where I'm at in the book, Samantha's life is going way too good. Something drastic has to be coming because everything is just going way too well. And like AJ, Somebody get me one of him. I know they're in high school, but it's like so relatable. I'm only 19 years old, so. I have less than 100 pages left. I'm definitely gonna be finishing this today. I'm feeling five stars. Maybe four and a half, I don't know. It really depends how it ends. If this is a five star book, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this video. I'm gonna have to change the topic or something. And I just, I love the representation of mental health in this book. It's literally amazing. This, the main character, like I said before, has OCD and anxiety really bad. And it's just, I, I like that it's being represented. The way that it's shown is like, so accurate. I'm gonna eat lunch and then probably finish this book. So the story just took a turn I didn't see coming and I don't like. Plot twist, but not a good one. Page 283, not vibing. This video might go as planned. finished the book what time is it 4 45 so i finished it really fast actually for me you're probably wondering why i'm sitting here in this weird spot but 
we'll get to that in a second finished the book gave it four stars and i know you're probably thinking she did this for the video she did this for the video but i didn't i swear to god you guys saw my reaction when i read the plot twist and i was not impressed i loved this book i was thoroughly loving it the whole way through i literally read it in one day i really liked it i loved the mental health representation i thought that was amazing throughout the book super accurate i liked everything about the ending except for the plot twist i just felt like i wasn't expecting it i know it's the point of a plot twist but like it just made the book go in a direction i did not want it to go in and i feel like it kind of took i don't know i feel like it didn't add to the main character it like took away from her in a way i don't really know i it's just, i wasn't vibing with it so for that reason this went from five star potential to four for me so that means this video is not over why am i sitting here this is my book cart now as i said before i have a million books on my physical tbr these are the ones that i've decided i want to read most recently that's actually like a lie these were all the books that were at school with me in this cart at school so they're still here because i don't have room for them in my bookshelf but basically what i've been doing like how i picked this book how i've been picking a lot of my books i ask my ask like my siri to flip a coin top shelf is heads bottom shelf is tails so let's start with that flip a coin she said heads so i'm gonna go with the top shelf i think that's what i just said then there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve books on the shelf so i'm gonna say pick a number one through twelve she said twelve turtles all the way down by john green i guess that's my next book okay i took a break from when i last saw you guys it's eight o'clock now i read the first chapter of this book and for the sake of this video i'm not reading this book next <laughs> I'm gonna read it one day, just today's not that day. I can't stop thinking about Agatha Christie. I really wanna read another one of her books, but like, I'd have to buy it. And I have so many books on my TBR. So I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna take some time to decide what to read next, and I'll come back to you guys when I'm reading. Hey guys, talking kinda quiet because it's the middle of the night and my whole family's asleep. But remember the other day when I picked out the book, Turtles All the Way Down, from my like TBR cart? Well, I've been in a reading slump for like three days. I haven't started reading, I haven't picked up a book. I think it's been one day. But I was like, why don't I wanna read this? Like, it's literally on my tbr cart but then i realized the books on there were like not the ones i wanted to read so i went through and picked out new books for the cart now i'm gonna pick a book to read hopefully i can actually read that one let's see what book i get i went through i have like a lot of romance because it's summer literary fiction couple historical fiction all my book of the months that i haven't read i have mystery thriller fantasy like a good mix but like ones that i actually like really want to read right now flip a coin tails okay pick a number one through 13 four one two three four now how the hell am i supposed to get this out of here Okay, the book I'm going to be reading is What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. I'm actually really excited because this is a thriller, so hopefully it's fast-paced. I get out of this little slump I'm in. This was one of my book of the month books for January. It was my book of the month, so my first one of the year. Let me read you the synopsis. They were 11 when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. Okay, that sounds really good already. Naomi Shaw used to believe in magic. 22 years ago, she and her best friends, Cassidy and Olivia, spent the summer roaming the woods, imagining a world of ceremony and wonder, the goddess game. The game became an, an obsession and a refuge for the three girls. That sanctuary was suddenly shattered when Naomi was attacked. Miraculously, she survived her 17 stab wounds and lived to identify the man who hurt her. The girl's testimony put away a serial killer wanted for murdering six women. They were heroes, but they were liars. For decades, the girls have kept a secret that might be worth killing for hidden in the forest but now olivia wants to tell the whole story then she goes missing and naomi sets out to find what really happened in the woods no matter how dangerous the truth turns out to be okay that actually sounds really good see what happens all the time is that i buy books but then they sit on my shelf for so long that i forget what they're about so i don't read them but this sounds really good like something i would love potentially a five star read so let's just get into it and hopefully this book will be five stars second book of the video maybe we can get it out so literal first first and Impressions. I read the first chapter which was like two pages. This book is reminding me so much of another book that I've read but I can't remember what book it is so I'm gonna try and figure it out and get back to you guys on that. It's also giving like cult right off the bat. Something weird's going on. The chapters are really short so I'm really excited to... Oh just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I just went to vlog and then remembered that my camera, my SD card ran out the other day, so this is on my phone, I'm sorry. I am still reading What Lies in the Woods. The last few days have just been crazy for me. So I haven't been reading that much, but I'm around page 70. And I will say that the book is kind of like slow. I just want the book to pick up at this point. That's all I have to say right now, but let's read together. <laughs> A 
couple days later. My life has been crazy this week. Maybe I'll talk about that on my channel one day, maybe not, we'll see. But basically, I'm back for the reading vlog. I really wanna finish this book today. I'm on page 99 out of 319. A lot of pages left, but I have nothing else to do today, so I think I can finish this. I don't really have any updates on the book so far. Oh my God, I just remembered what happened. Something I did not see coming. I'm gonna keep reading. I don't know if this is gonna be five star read. Honestly, I don't think so, but it's really early to say. So I'm gonna keep reading and I'll update you guys when I have something to say. Sometimes I get concerned with thrillers because I'm like, how did the author think of this? I'm on page 124 and they just like, they said something that just like, I never would have guessed and it's pretty fucked up. How did the author think of this? That's just what I want to know. Also, I don't know if I've really told you guys what this book is about. Basically, there's these three girls and one of them was attacked, like stabbed. The other two saw it happen, but the guy didn't see the other two. So they ran, got help, whatever. The parents are literally terrible. They're like telling this girl that survived the stabbing. They're like, my daughters would have been so much better if you had just died. Who says that to a person? I really don't like any of the characters in this book, but even just like despite that, I'm still liking the book. Just got halfway done. Honestly, I like the writing a lot and the story is good. I just, I'm not loving it. I do like it, don't get me wrong. I feel like I'm saying like only the bad things. I like it, just not five stars yet. I don't know, it's just like for some reason, it's not like making me want to keep reading, keep reading, keep reading, which usually thrillers do, even though I do want to know what happens. Something about it. I'm vlogging. Do you think I'm just talking to myself? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna ask you if you're feeling okay. Lighting is literally horrendous. I'm like three quarters of the way through the book. I'm on page 207 and I have a couple of theories. I won't say them in case they end up being true, but I will say that I do not trust this Ethan guy. I know Naomi is trusting him, but I feel like that, no. I, I just don't trust him. I don't think he's a good guy. I think he's hiding things. I also just don't trust her friend Cassidy. Like I literally don't trust anyone. Maybe that's a reflection of my real life, but <laughs> I don't trust anyone in this book. I feel like everyone is hiding more than they're letting on. No way guys, no way. Oh my God. The plot twist of my life. I did not see this one coming, I did not. Do you guys ever like when you're reading, like I'm reading the top, but then I like skimmed to the bottom. So like I saw the plot twist, but now I actually have to read it. But I'm not sure if I believe this based on who's telling her this plot twist. I don't know if I believe it. Guys, this story keeps getting crazier. I feel like I was kind of right, but like kind of not right about one of my guesses. I need to keep reading. I still have like 60 pages left. I don't know what's gonna happen now. I did not see this, guys. Oh, oh my God, They she fooled me. The plot twist. They don't stop coming. I think this video might be over, bro. I, I, the plot twists don't stop coming. I never suspected this person. Oh, page 285. Like, if you know, you know. It's been a few days since I finished What Lies in the Woods and I haven't really filmed my final thoughts yet. I decided to do this book five stars. Did I rate it right after I read it? Yes. Now I'm kind of thinking back and I'm like, feel like it's probably like a four star just because the whole time I was like, this is slow, this is slow. And then the last hundred pages were like, oh my God. I rated it five stars, so that means this video is over. If you guys liked this video, I'll do a part two because like I said, I'm kind of iffy about my final rating, but decided to give this book five stars. So that is the end of this video. Hope you guys liked it. It's kind of a different reading vlog and I had a lot of fun filming it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for videos every week. I have a lot of fun videos coming, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>